Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your USB device appears to keep connecting and disconnecting on your Windows computer. So, we're going to hopefully be able to resolve without too much of a hassle. First method, I'm not actually going to really be able to show on screen, but try putting whatever your device is into a different port. So most computers have more ports than you more than likely need. So try putting the device into its separate port and see if it resolves the problem. It's definitely worth a shot. So just go ahead and try and plug it into a different USB port. That's definitely worth a shot. Another thing you can try would be to open up the Start menu and type in Device Manager. Best match should say Device Manager. Left click on that one time. Now you want to expand the Universal Serial Bus Controller section near the bottom, so just left on a little arrow next to it to expand. And you want to look for the root hubs here, so there might be several. You want to go underneath each one of them, specifically USB root hubs, right click, left click properties, and then left click on the power management button, and then if there's a checkbox that says allow the computer to turn off this device to save power, you want to uncheck it, left click on OK. And if you have multiple USB root hubs, again, do it for each of them. Because it might be turning off your USB connection, so you might be disconnecting your MP3 player, flash drive, whatever device you might be relying on a USB port to do. So if you close out of here, would suggest restarting your computer, hopefully it's resolved the problem. If you're still experiencing an issue, you can try opening up the start menu, type in control panel. Best match should come back with control panel here. Left click on that one time. And you want to set your view by up here to categories. So just click on it one time, select categories. And then on the left side or left list here, you want to select hardware and sound. And now you want to select power options. Whatever power option is currently selected here and it's indicated by a filled in circle, you want to go next to the corresponding power plan and left click on change plan settings. Now you want to left click on where it says change advanced power settings. And I'm going to just drag this back over to the screen here. Might be an area that says USB settings. You want to expand that by clicking the little plus sign next to it. Do the same thing for USB selective suspend settings. And then if the setting is currently enabled, click inside of the word enabled, and then a drop down should appear. Select disabled, and then left click on apply and OK. If you ever wanted to go back to how it was before, feel free to restore default settings for this plan. It's right here, so it was on the screen right after power options. But however, I don't really think it's too necessary for my own experience. So once you're done with that, close out of here, restart your computer, and hopefully that has resolved your issue. So as always, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.